welcome to Tips for AP Euro. Because once you're done with AP Euro, you can relax like me. Pros of taking AP Euro! Yay! Well, for one thing, you learn some good study techniques. So, for your future classes, then you'll know how to study for them. And it's good preparation for other AP classes that you take. Um, the teachers rock, obviously, <laughs> and um, you get if you pass your AP test, you get college credit, so that's pretty cool. It also looks really good, like for colleges when you're like applying, and there's very interesting content like Henry the Eighth. He's pretty cool. Um, Please. <laughs> <laughs> and you also get the econ credit at the end of the year. AP European History Homework Tips, yay. yay! Okay, so, a big one, do not procrastinate, because you will get behind, and then you will never get ahead. And that's also, you want to get ahead any chance you can get, so then you can have nights where you don't need to do the homework, and if you are doing an activity or not. Um, remember the information, because chances are it's going to come back to you a in a few chapters, and you'll have to refresh yourself in addition to the homework, and you're going to need to remember it all for the AP test, so yeah. Um, and then also, don't give up even when it gets boring, because that won't be good. <laughs> uh, don't read too much at once, you were going to want to take breaks in between chapters, and make sure to pace yourself, or else it's literally going to go in one ear and out the other. Um. Okay, so you also want to go somewhere quiet and not distracting so you can actually focus on your work. Um, I know that helps me. Maybe even put your phone away because that's a pretty distracting thing to have out. Um, if you start crying, just think of all the other students and like their tear marks that are probably going to be in your textbook. <laughs> and just be like, wow, these people so <laughs> all survived this class. You'll be fine. Um, you also might have late nights that happen because especially if you have sports or if you're in band or dance or whatever, um, you're going to have to do your homework early, so make sure you don't get behind, like Kari said. Um, and don't quit the first week, because I know that it's a lot at one time, because it's a new thing, but it'll get better, so you can persevere. <laughs> Stick with it. Uh, <laughs> um, using, like, sticky notes and stuff in your book um, is really helpful, especially for, like, big topics, and you want to go back and study for a test. Um, that's really helpful. Um, don't cheat off of other people, like, on homework and tests, obviously, but, um, because you'll want to understand everything yourself, um, like, for the AP test and for the test, it makes it easier. Um, the teachers do check your homework, so you can't really get away with not doing it, and it's definitely worth doing the homework in the end. Um, you should probably do IDs separate from the reading and the homework um, so it goes quicker and you can also keep them short and sweet and that really just gets like the message. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of your hard work will definitely pay off in the end and just know that everybody in this, everybody who's ever taken this class hasn't died. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, you'll so, yeah. you'll so you'll survive. So you'll survive. Okay, so this is like notes, tips, and class and test tips. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, okay, so don't take too many notes when you're doing the reading and stuff because it's just, I mean, you're not going to go back and read it and it just, it really just doesn't help. Um, and also, try to summarize. So there's these, in your textbook, there's these little blue like heading things and if you take notes on those that's really good and helpful and like you don't really need to take much notes on much of the other stuff um so basically long story short the entire book is just like just paraphrase it just write every like write as little as you can because you'll be spending hours on notes if you don't and when you get to class, just ask as many questions as you need to because the teachers are really good about answering it and you're going to want to know, all, the, especially all the big topics, you're going to want to know those for the test because the tests are made from the book. Yeah. And also do all that extra credit you can. Like, for example, this is extra credit. It's an enrichment video that we put together for you guys. <laughs> and so always do it so then you can bump up your grade and 
then you can do better on your tests. So then you have like more of a room to fail your tests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also test corrections will be your best friend because it gives you a higher grade on your test. And um, don't be discouraged if you literally fail your first test because I, all I think all of us actually <laughs> okay. failed. failed. We actually failed our first test. Yeah. But I mean, the Renaissance. Tests, yeah, I mean, there's test corrections, so don't freak out. It'll be okay. Okay, this is AP Test Week. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> um, make sure to get lots of sleep that week because you. You'll need it. They, yeah. Um, and cramming the day of or the night before really doesn't do you any good. Like, this year, um, I was just at school all day, except I stayed with McCusker and Sterling. And I was trying to study, but it was no use because I wasn't taking any of it in. So don't even bother trying to study. Um, and you want to at least start studying, like, two weeks in advance if you actually want to get through, like, most of the topics that you learn all year because there's so much information that trying to study like a few days is not going to get you very far and it's going to be pretty much pointless so you're going to want to have like set areas you want to look over and don't stress too much about it because like stephanie said trying to do it all like the night before is just going to cause more stress than actually good for you so it's pointless and also things you can do for studying is the princeton review book it's awesome it's full of mini stuff and it's basically this is like your saving grace <laughs> and because it has like a pre-test and then it has all the information and then it has like a post-test and little tests along the way and stuff and then also Tom Ritchie videos I think they'll talk about it in class later towards the AP test those are awesome they're really helpful and then also you want to use your past review uh, study notes and your stacks of IDs. These are all the IDs that we took throughout the year, so yay! <laughs> and you will read your entire AP Euro textbook throughout the year. Yeah. So just think when you're done, like, wow, I read this entire textbook and I wrote like 500 IDs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> so do good. You can do it. You can survive. You will finish this class. <laughs> we all did. Yeah, we fine. <laughs> Also, in AP Euro, you get cool t-shirts like these, the ones we're wearing. On the back, there's like really cool inside jokes that you will learn, like Diet of Worms and Taco Brahe. He's, he's awesome. And then also the front, too, there's a bunch of figures, and you will learn all of these. And then also another thing is we, if you were wondering, we all got A's in AP Euro. Yeah, we so uh, even though, I don't know, I never really did that good on tests, but I always made it up by doing other stuff. The test oh, yeah. corrections really help. Like, always do them, no matter what. And even if you didn't, Yeah, even if you do good on the test, if you just missed a few, it's always worth it yeah. to do the test corrections. And follow these tips and you will succeed. Yay! Yay! AP! <laughs> Euro! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hi. I didn't see you there! <laughs> I'm Lane. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Cory. Welcome to AP Euro Tips! <laughs> 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 <laughs>